So since the last video upload on World War III went viral, a lot of people were asking questions. How does the Israel's situation today lead into World War III? Uh, and I thought I would explain a little bit more today in this video the exact events that are foreseen to happen according to Muhammad Qasim's dreams uh, and how they will lead into the World War III scenario. Uh, but before we begin, I wanted to acknowledge the fact that we are not inciting any violent behavior or promoting war. Uh, we are as concerned as everyone else about violence and wars. We know innocent people die in these situations. We are only informing and making the people aware of the events that are going to happen because Muhammad Qasim has seen these events in his dreams. And as many of his dreams have already come true, we are confident to say that the events of World War III will also unfold exactly like what Muhammad Qasim has seen. Now about the events in Israel and how they lead into World War III. What the situation presents for Israel is a golden opportunity to capture Al-Aqsa, clean it from all Muslim population and start rebuilding it. This rebuilding of the Al-Aqsa will be the third temple rebuild which many Jewish people are waiting for because they foresee the coming of their final Messiah after the rebuilding of the temple. Secondary to this is also the sacrifice of the red heifer, who is supposed to be three years old at the time of the sacrifice. Now the red heifer was already found last year and this year, guess what? It will be three years old, ready for sacrifice. So this situation in Israel comes very timely for Israel to rebuild the third temple. Now, how does that connect with Muhammad Qasim's dreams? Well, Muhammad Qasim saw in a dream in 2017 and 18 successive events that happen and they originate after the third temple is built. And Muhammad Qasim specifically says in his dreams that the temple is built. The Palestinians are under severe oppression. They're being killed. And while the temple is being built and all this violence is occurring, the Muslim Ummah stays quiet, the Muslim leaders stay quiet, and the Muslim countries stay quiet. They're not able to do global protest for the rights of the Palestinians and the right of the Muslims to have Al-Aqsa in their banner. So watch out for this. And I will upload Muhammad Qasim streams on this channel in the next videos for you to see. Thank you.